Good morning guys and welcome back to our KZ Life. Today we are in Animal Kingdom, if you couldn't tell by the tree or the beautiful music surrounding us. But today we are going to have a fun day in Animal Kingdom. I am super excited. I haven't been back in a few weeks and I'm ready to get this day started. But first I need some coffee. So let's get some coffee and let's go have some fun. Close to our coffee, guys. Here it is, Creature Comforts. I think my favorite Starbucks in all of Disney World. I think. Well, it is right now. So let's go inside and get some coffee. Look how beautiful it is in here. How can you not love this place? It's beautiful and it wakes you up. Look at all these beautiful Starbucks cups they have right now. They have like a pink polka dot, and they have all the shiny ones, the purple ones. So cute. Perfect. All right, y'all, first sip of our coffee today. They actually made it perfect. It looks like the foam is really thick. That's how you know it's good. Oh, wow. Really thick. Okay, so what I get is three shots of espresso over ice with vanilla sweet foam. Yes. No, I, sometimes I'll do like a pump of the sugar-free vanilla. But today I didn't feel like it, and the foam today is good, it's like sweet. Because sometimes it tastes just like milky, but today it's good and it's sweet and it's really good. So it's a good combo if you like coffee and not milky, because this like stays on the top a lot and it doesn't go into your coffee, but you get that little sweetness as you're drinking the bitterness of the espresso, if that makes sense. So today we're just gonna have a fun day in Animal Kingdom. I will be having lunch here later at my favorite place here. If you guys haven't seen any of my other videos, you'll see what it is. But if you have seen my other videos, you know what it is. But I'm not going to say because it it's going to be a surprise. And Josh is going to be really upset that he's not here with me today to eat it. So I'm sorry, Josh, if you're watching this. it was a, It's going to be amazing. Animal Kingdom is one of those parks that you can just walk around and there's always something going on. There's live music everywhere, there's performers everywhere, there's animals everywhere, there's always something that you can see or watch, and it's just entertainment everywhere, so that's why I love just coming here and walking around. So I kind of hear something going on, so let's go see some. Let's go see if there's anything cool happening. Like I said, there's always performers everywhere here. This is right in front of the Tusker house. It's one of my favorites. Let's get closer and see. idea how happy those dancers make me I watch their whole show I never leave until it's fully over and every time I walk up and they're doing a show I watch it I have to watch it it's amazing and I usually dance with them but I had no one to hold my stuff today I had my coffee and my camera and I had no one to hold it so I couldn't really dance as much I could move my feet but I took the coolest picture with them for the first time ever and I'm gonna show you guys isn't that the coolest picture? I loved it. I sent it to my fiance and his whole family in the group chat because they know how obsessed I am with them. I love them so much. But I was looking at the wait times and Dinosaur is only five minute wait. Yo, that's like the best route. We gotta go on it. So let's go to Dinosaur and get scared. As I'm entering Asia, I just want to say Yak and Yeti has been a restaurant that I've been wanting to eat at since I think my first trip with Josh here. And we still haven't eaten here, unfortunately, but it's definitely on the list. It's so hard for me and Josh to come together because I work usually nights during the week and the weekends, and he works in the mornings, so we don't have the same schedule. And unfortunately, we can't come here on the weekends because we have the block out dates. So we're really waiting for the annual pass to return so we can upgrade our annual pass and be able to come here on the weekends. There she is. There she is, y'all. Mount Everest. I'm not going on this today, I don't think. Because yesterday we went on Splash Mountain and I had a, I got a head rush. That's how long it's been since we rode a roller coaster. 
and this one is intense and I wrote it myself like two weeks ago and it was kind of scary but maybe I'll do it we'll see Josh and I have never been here in the transition of like holiday season to like spring and right now I feel like the crowds are not too bad the parking lot seems really full there are some rides that are like two hour waits you know at Avatar but right now it doesn't seem too crowded in here and I am curious to see how busy it's going to get with all the spring like you know how like schools come here for the school trips and then all the sports I think they do like a lot of sports stuff and they stay at the all-stars so I'm curious to see how busy it's going to get in the spring we came last spring but we came for like three days and it was right before the flower and garden festival and it wasn't too crowded then and I feel like it's gonna get really crowded like once that starts and I'm curious to see how that's gonna be this is where they usually do kite tails but they're not doing kite tails anymore right now I think they bring them back I think they're just seasonal so I think they're gonna bring them back in the summer but kite tails is awesome but when they're not doing kite tails you can just sit here and relax it's actually really nice Josh sometimes we'll get a drink from the bar over there and we'll sit right there drinking our drink and today it's an absolutely perfect day. It's just perfect. It's not hot, it's not cold, it's perfect. And today would be one of those days. Unfortunately, Josh is working right now, so we cannot do that. But just want to let you know, this is just like a hidden gem. Okay guys, we're still headed to Dinosaur. I just needed to show you guys how beautiful it is over there and how amazing it is just to sit there and just like relax. But it's really cool that they do like the water cavalcades is what I call them. I think that's probably what they call them too. I just don't know for sure. But they can't actually do a cavalcade on land here because of how the roads are. It's, it gets really tight and really big and there's just not enough room and there's people everywhere. But I like how they like incorporate the lake. I don't know. I just wanted to say that because I think that's really cool. And it looks really nice and it makes this park unique compared to the other parks. Another reason you should love Animal Kingdom. I know some people don't know this, and I actually forget this, but they are redoing this whole side of the park. They, I don't know when they're doing it, but they have said that they are redoing it. And I think they're doing something with Moana here, but I'm not sure. Because I know they just did that whole thing with Moana at Epcot, but I feel like that was the rumor. And I really, really hope they don't get rid of Dinosaur. They haven't said they will but they haven't said they won't. And Dinosaur is just a classic ride. I feel like that is so disrespectful if they do anything to that ride. It's just disrespectful to me because I love it. But yeah, let's keep going to Dinosaur. Hopefully it's still a five minute wait because it took us about 20 minutes to get here. I had a lot of pit stops and I get really distracted and I'm about to do another pit stop, kind of a pit stop. Look at that, look at Daisy and her outfit. No more Christmas attire. Wait a second here, wait a second here. Where are all the barriers? They took them all away. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen it without it being blocked and I don't even know how long. Wow, Josh is gonna be so upset he's not here. That is crazy, it looks so good. It makes the ride look even better. I know it's like the small things, but the small things is what makes it. Oh wow, that is crazy. Okay, the, the line is 15 minute wait, not bad. I'm still gonna go on it. But whoa, I am so distracted. Okay, really cool, let's go on the ride. Hello there. <laughs> Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Secret, your friendly controller and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me, let's talk about you and how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. And one more thing, those locked coordinates, <laughs> We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguanodon. Then, I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom! You're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me. What could go wrong? Finally inside. It smells so good in here. I love the scent. Just finished riding dinosaur. I think it's the most ridden ride I have ridden. Okay, let's start over. The most ridden ride that I have ridden. I guess it's, I guess it makes sense um, since moving to Florida. I love that ride. 
I think it's just so much fun and it's a good vibe to go on by yourself because you're not that scared. But you still are a little scared. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So now I'm going this way. So now I think I'm going to go and see the stores and see if there's anything new for us to look at or to purchase because you know what? I'm down for buying something. Probably won't, but I'm down to look to buy something. Look, it's Donald walking away. Not too to see with a little hat on. Remember earlier when I said there's animals, live music, entertainment everywhere in Animal Kingdom? Well, here's another example. So basically, they give you exam they give you a description of these birds, and they have them here just hanging out. So you can just really just stand here. It's like you're in a zoo. This whole park is a zoo. I really like that. So there's a few reasons why I want the 50th anniversary to be done. I'm sorry. But this is one of them, Dino Bites. So Dino Bites used to have this strawberry shortcake ice cream sandwich that they haven't had since before the 50th anniversary. And I've been waiting for it to come back. And it's a seasonal thing. They usually have it in the summer. And I feel like this summer they're gonna bring it back and I'm really excited for it because the 50th anniversary will be completely done. And if that if it's completely done, that means they're gonna bring it back, right? Well, that's what I'm hoping. Because the strawberry shortcake ice cream sandwich is my favorite ice cream sandwich in all of Disney World. <laughs> yes, I said it, so don't argue with me until you have it. And hopefully you will be able to have it this summer. Guys, it's Kevin. Look at Kevin. Entertainment all the time here. All the time. He's so cute. Let's go in here. Let's go see if there's anything new in here to look at. I don't know if this is new or just new to me, but I really like these because these are actually fabric. Maybe not great for Florida because it randomly rains all the time, and if this gets wet, I feel like it's just going to be a pain. But it's really cool. I like it. It's really different. Oh, look how cute this is. So this is something new, but like I said, it might be just be just new to me. It's super quiet in here and I just keep talking on my phone, but I feel like everyone can hear me because it's so quiet. Oh, they have some 50th an or sorry, 100th anniversary stuff. I've been eyeing this out and this is really not my style, like the shininess, but I really like it. I don't know. And they also have a blanket. Oh, they don't have it here today, but they have the towel. Josh and I really want the 100th anniversary blanket. I think it's really cool and we really love this new collection. Guys, if you want this, this is still $75. That is so cheap. I got this for my niece for Christmas and she loves it, but it's really cool that it's only $75. That is so cheap and I got to use my discount, my annual pass discount on top of that. So if you're an annual pass holder, you can use, you can use your discount on top of it. So it's really cheap and it's really nice and it's huge. Okay, let's go in this store. Usually this store has newer things. So let's go see if we can find anything new. But I did find this. I've never seen this before. And obviously this is not new because this is with the 50th anniversary stuff, but, or maybe it is new and they just came out with it. Okay, they also have this in here for $75. That is so cheap. And they have the monorail set for $75. This is all for the 50th anniversary. I guess they're just trying to get rid of it because this is almost done. But this is really cheap and this is a collectible item because the 50th only comes once and you will have this forever. This is something I've never seen before and um, maybe you've seen it, but I haven't. But this is all collectibles. So this Mickey is 10th out of the 12th collectibles. So they have like a whole series. This is 12. Let's see this one. This one is six out of 12. So they have 12 Mickeys. We have one over here. Which one is this one? Let's see. Nine out of 12. This one's seven out of 12. This is really cool. So if you like collecting things, this is actually something really cool to collect. They have it over here too. Eight out of 12. That's really awesome. Okay, this is also something new I've just seen. This is like a mini Barbie. It, it looks like a Barbie doll and it has you can like dress her up and put shoes on her and dresses It's literally a make a mini Barbie This is really cool. My niece would love this 
How much is it? Oh, it's only $40. That's pretty good. And Mickey, too. Oh, my goodness. How cool is this? I really like this. This is also for the 50th anniversary. So that was all the new merch that I have seen here recently. I always do like an updated merch in mostly every video. So and every time I go to the parks, I always go look at the merch and see if I see anything new. And I always update it. So if you guys want, you can always go back to my other videos and see if anything, if there's anything new in those videos. But pretty much that was everything that I've seen in those two main stores in Animal Kingdom. And now it's time to go to a different world. Can you guess what world I'm talking about? Hmm? Right before you cross into this new world that I'm talking about, there's the Nomad Lounge. So Josh and I always come to the Nomad Lounge. We sit outside, it's so beautiful. It's right next to the lake. And a lot of the times cavalcades will ride by here and you get to see a lot of cool things. But right now I'm not gonna sit at the Nomad Lounge because there's actually a huge line and there's a bit, there's a bit of a wait. But you can sign on online. So right on the app, you can wait in a virtual queue and you can wait for the Nomad Lounge. Sometimes it fills up and then sometimes it's like, oh, come back in 40 minutes, 50 minute wait, an hour wait, which is really awesome. So you can always try to do that. And it's a really nice and chill experience. And I highly recommend it. We are in Pandora, guys. Oh, I love it here. If you guys have never been here, you have to come here, especially at night. This whole place glows just like how it does in the movie. It's really awesome, and you can play the drums. Let's try it. Look how beautiful it is here. I absolutely love it. I love being an avatar in Pandora. And today is such a beautiful day, so whoever's taking photos today, they're gonna be absolutely perfect, and I might try to do it instead of self-timer like I always do. So yeah, let's do it. Josh told me to download this app, and it makes it look like a Polaroid camera photo it's really cool and i just took a bunch so i want to show you guys how cool it looks so here are some of them don't they look so cool and i think i'm going to start doing our instagram like that because i think it looks really cool so if you want to follow us at our casey life on instagram i'm going to be posting a lot of pictures like that from all the parks and all over Disney World, even the hotels and the resorts. So follow that so you can see more like cool videos like that. I just want to point out the difference between living in Florida and just visiting Florida. When you're visiting Florida, you don't see the, all the details here, okay? When you live here, you come here all the time, you get to see all the little details. Like I have never noticed this. Like I have never noticed this, this sign, beware of the animals that spill water in here. And like these are the animals. I have never noticed that. There's like a little animal right up here. It's a little blurry. A little animal right up here. There's all these animals in the water that are swimming. Like I've never noticed that. Oh, the beauty of living here and noticing all the details. Do you know what time it is? It's lunch time. Do you guys know what I'm getting? I said from the beginning of this video, I'm getting one of my favorites. If you guys guessed it. It is the Tulis. If you didn't guess it, welcome to our crazy life. I'm Penelope and I love the Tulis. I got my food, finally. All right, this is what I got. Potato hash, chicken, and beef, and then they have the slaw. But I got my sauce on the side today because sometimes they put too much and I don't want too much. I don't know. I was like, I'm just gonna put it on the side today because I just used half and it looks like enough. Let's take a bitey. My mouth is actually watering. It looks so good. Mm -mm. I got, I get the herb sauce. It is so good. The beef and chicken is so good. I was just gonna get the one. I was like, ah, eh, I always get both. Let me get the combo. Let me get the combo. It's so good. Like. The hash is so good. I've also had this shrimp before and it's good, but I don't know, I just like this better. Mm. It's also so filling. Amazing. I've never been to Satuli's. Go to Satuli's, it's the best. It's my favorite. And it feels like you're eating a real meal instead of a quick service meal, if that makes sense. 
And another thing about this is that I'm almost done eating it, but I am so full and I'm forcing myself to eat it. So I might have paid $17 to get the combination chicken and beef, but I can't even finish it. It is so filling, like my stomach hurts, but I have to finish it because I paid $17 for it. More random wildlife. Wildlife is everywhere. These flamingos are so pink. So that means they're eating a lot of shrimp because flamingos get their colors from eating shrimp. Crazy, right? That I learned on the safari here, actually. Now I am extremely full, extremely full. I wanted to finish my whole meal. I didn't want to throw anything out and I did that and now I'm too full. But anyway, this concludes our fun day in Animal Kingdom. We did a lot of random things, but we did a lot of fun things. We only rode one ride, but we did have a lot of vibes. Okay, I'm really trying to make that saying a thing because I like it. No rides, just vibes, but we did do one ride and it was really fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is going to be, this is my first day coming to Animal Kingdom in 2023, which is really crazy to say. I am going to be keep, keep coming to Animal Kingdom all year. I am so excited for this year. I feel like I have a lot of great things planned and a lot of fun things planned with Josh too. So I hope you liked everything and I'll see you guys later.